So we all know that the Tesla Model S is the fastest production electric car out there. In fact, it's the fastest production sedan out there. And um, it's super fast, hitting 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour and around about the 2.5, 2.6 second mark. That's fast. But Renault have just come out with a new concept car that does the same sprint in 3.2 seconds. The difference? It's a hot hatch and boy, this car is hot. Hi everyone, it's Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. And if you grew up in the 1980s in Europe, the chances are you know what a hot hatch is. It was the car that defined a motoring generation. They make a small, compact car and you put a powerful engine in it and then the world is a really happy place. Examples of the hot hatch, the Volkswagen Golf, the early generations, the Renault 5 Sport, there's, there's a whole category of very fast, sporty cars. Let's not forget the MG Metro. That was a killer. And these cars had very low weight and very high amounts of power. We're not talking about the standard versions that had little pokey 1.0 litre engines and took your grand shopping. We're talking about the high end range topping performance models that were very often based or at least inspired by world-class rally cars or other high-end race cars from the same automaker. And now Renault has come out with an all-electric hot hatch, a car that we have been begging Renault to make for years. In fact, shortly after the Renault Zoe came out, I remember at a launch event sitting there with some of the members of the Renault EV team and saying, gotta make a high-end version of that. And now, as those of us who are approaching middle age look back fondly on the hot hatches of our youth, it turns out that Renault's decided to reimagine the hot hatch as an all-electric car. And it's produced a high-end performance concept of the Zoe EV called the Zoe eSport concept. And let me tell you, it's a mind-blowing car. Before I go any further, let's give you some specs for this awesome car that's got me really super excited. Yes, I know it's not as fast as a Tesla, but it's a hot hatch. It's about half the size of a Tesla Model S and its weight is ludicrous. Now, according to Renault, this concept car, and yes, it is just a concept, but I think it's a concept that hints at some point in the future we're gonna see a performance Renault Zoe and that makes me smile. Now let's give you some specs here because this car is really exciting and it's worthy of having its very own little preview here on Transport Evolved today. Here's why. Okay, it's smaller than a Tesla Model S, I get that. And it doesn't reach 60 miles per hour quite as quickly as a Tesla Model S, I get that too. But it's been engineered with Renault's motorsport team and so, it's supposed to handle really well, at least that's what the rumours are. Obviously, I haven't driven it because I'm not in Geneva and I'm guessing that Renault wouldn't let me yet. Maybe in the future, Renault, if you're interested, maybe I can have a drive. But here are the specs. It weighs just 1,400 kilograms. That's 1,400 kilos. And that equates to about 3,000 pounds. So already it's a lot lighter than many other faster electric cars. It also does 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds, which is 0 to 100 kilometers per hour for those watching in Europe. Now, aside from that 0 to 62 time, the Renault Zoe eSport concept also has a higher top speed than the production Zoe that you can go into any Renault garage and buy today. Its top speed is electronically limited to 210 kilometers per hour. That's about 130 miles per hour, which Renault says the car will hit in about 10 seconds. And you can really tell how much its motorsport team have learned working with Formula E's and how much of an impact that's going to have on future electric vehicles from Renault that you can buy. Now let's get to the meat of the matter here which is essentially what makes this car a hot hatch. Now, in order to be a hot hatch, it has to be a small compact car with really good performance, really good road handling, but more importantly, it has to have a very good power to weight ratio. 
Now, according to Renault, this car produces about 460 brake horsepower from its twin electric motors, one for the front wheels and one for the back. And its weight is about 1,460 kilograms, including your average driver. If you prefer your power in kilowatts, the twin motor arrangement of this car produces a total of 340 kilowatts, which is stupid considering how much power a Tesla Model S puts out and how much smaller this car is compared to a Tesla Model S. Let's put it in very simple terms. If you got behind the wheel of one of these and you had a racetrack, you would be grinning. Now, obviously, being a concept car, there are some specifications that we're not privy to. For example, how big the battery pack is and how far the car will travel on a charge. But this is a car, a concept car, designed to be used as a track vehicle. Now, I know some of you are going to say, why are you giving such attention, Nikki, to a concept car? I'm normally kind of really pessimistic about concept cars. But let me tell you something really important. Renault over the last couple of decades has tended to focus on concept cars that it intends to produce at some point in the future. And the Renault Zoe eSport concept looks and sounds like an actual finished product, at least a car that can be raced at some point in the near future. Go to any track day across Europe and you're going to come across a number of Renault Clio Sports racing around the track. In fact, the Renault Clio Sport is a very popular car for people who want a high performance car that they can drive to the office Monday to Friday and then thrash on the track at the weekend. This is a car company that's putting its money where its mouth is and producing a concept car that envisages the day when Renault Clio racing could be replaced by Renault Zoe racing. Zero emission, but still all of the fun of a hot hatchback. And that's why I am so excited about this vehicle. What if Renault came out with a Renault Zoe sport car that you could actually buy at your local dealership? What if it was based on the Renault Zoe eSport concept? I think that it's entirely possible that we're going to see a Renault Zoe Sport at some point in the near future. We've already seen Nissan offer mild tuning capabilities in Japan with the Nismo package for the production Nissan Leaf, as well as, of course, the Nismo race cars that are produced specifically for track use. We've also seen BMW, at least hint, towards a higher performance version of the BMW i3 with the BMW i3 Sport. I've also heard rumours of other car companies considering similar high performance versions of electric cars. Which brings me to my parting question. After nearly a decade of being on sale, is it finally time to see sport high performance tuned versions of regular production electric vehicles go on sale at dealerships across the world? So you could walk into a Nissan dealership, for example, and buy a stock Nissan Leaf or buy the high-end performance version with a Nismo badge. Same thing with Renault. Go in and buy a regular Zoe or buy the Renault Zoe Sport with more power, but perhaps maybe a little less range. Or BMW or any other electric automaker. And if that happens, how much should the premium be on top of the standard model? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the Renault eSport concept and tell me if I am overhyped or if my excitement is justified. I will see you again tomorrow with another Transport Evolved. And don't forget, if you like what you saw today, please do consider supporting us through our Patreon crowdfunding campaign. You'll find a link in the description below as well as at the end of this video. Take care, have a great day and keep evolving.